Steve Bannon reported for prison today, about fucking time. And before going in, Steve Bannon said, I'm proud to serve my prison time. I bet you are, motherfucker. Some things aren't going to change for Steve Bannon, and some things are going to improve, believe it or not. First of all, he's going to spend his days around a bunch of other criminals, which is pretty much his life now. So that won't change. The upside is he'll get brand new clean clothes for fucking once. Oh yeah, they'll be orange and ugly, but at least, finally, that motherfucker will have some clean clothes. But the fact of the matter is, is he may be proud of going to prison, but Steve Bannon fucked up, and he fucked up big. He's supposed to be an advisor to Donald Trump in his candidacy for the presidency of the United States. He has that podcast, too. It's important he gets all the lies out. But for the next four months, he won't be able to advise anybody, and he won't be able to do his podcast. Steve Bannon fucked up. He should have taken his four months and got him out of the way, but instead he pushed it and pushed it and pushed it up to this point. So that means he'll be in jail in July, August, September, and October, leading up to the election in November. He will be taken out of the mix, out of the narrative, out of the equation. Steve Bannon won't be a factor in this election. Now, that's a small win for Democrats, but it's a win nonetheless, and Steve Bannon's going to have to shut his fat, greasy mouth for the next four months, or maybe a shorter time if he gets time off for good behavior. But do you really think that's going to happen? Do you think Steve Bannon's going to behave in jail? (laughs) You know, there are a lot of things to worry about in this country, but there are some wins, and we've got to accept and rejoice in those wins. Steve Bannon is currently in prison, and he'll be there for the next three and a half, four months. Good riddance, you greasy motherfucker.